Hey, what's up, everyone? Nick on Real for New Orleans Dot Football, and you're watching the Dot presented by Matt Bowers Auto Group. The Saints are getting ready to play their last preseason game against the Chargers tonight at the Superdome. And I think this might be the one where we see a little bit of the starters, but Dennis Allen has been pretty tight lipped about what he's going to do in this final preseason game. So that plan remains to be seen. But this is the last chance for players on the roster bubble to make the team. And that brings us to our first question this week, which comes from Derek, who says, which players on the bubble need a good performance against the Chargers to solidify their spot on the 53-man roster? I think the guys that I'm most looking at this week in this game, I think, are the backup linebackers, John Bostic, Nephi Sewell. Um, and I think guys like Kirk Merritt also need to have a really good game. He's going to get his first look at running back, and he needs to convince his coaching staff that he deserves a place on this team in the upcoming season. And even some veterans, I think guys like Nick Vanette, who played late into the game last week, everybody kind of needs to play well that isn't one of the top 11 starters on each side of the ball. So there's some pressure on a bunch of guys. Nick Martin, Calvin Throckmorton, that battle for interior uh, roster spots on the offensive line. Everything is kind of still open for jobs. So it's going to be interesting to see how all that stuff plays out. But the thing I'm watching more than anything tonight is Trevor Penning. I know James Hurst looks like he's on his way back, but Penning needs to play well. He needs to keep showing that growth. He needs to instill confidence. And that job is still up for grabs. If Penning does really well tonight and over the next two weeks heading into Atlanta, there's still a chance he could play. So seeing his development each week, I think is one of the more important and more interesting things that we're going to watch in the preseason. And that comes to a close tonight. So that's the main thing I'll have my eye on. Our next question comes from, Felipe, who says, what is the deal with Ryan Ramchek's knee? I think what we're seeing now is the new normal for Ryan Ramchek. He's had knee issues throughout his career. And I think this is just something that he's going to have to manage moving forward to make sure that he's as healthy as can be. And it gives him the best shot to get through a 17-game season. So I think training camps in the future, we're just going to see Ramchek get enough snaps to do what he needs to do to feel ready for the season, to be in the flow of things in Outside of that, they're going to take off the unnecessary mileage so that he can remain healthy and keep that knee as good as possible every season for as long as possible. So with a new plan, a new normal, that's going to be the way that Ramchek's probably going to have to move forward into his career. And look, I think he's somebody that can handle that. I, th I don't think he's someone that needs a ton of work. I think he knows what he needs to do to be healthy. So we'll just have to see how it progresses uh, moving forward. And our last question comes from... Andrew, who asks, do you think there are any last minute moves the Saints should make? And if so, what? I think after roster cuts go down, the Saints should keep their eyes open for other running backs, other linebackers, other tight ends, all those positions where that looks like the team is a little bit softer, a little bit weak relative to the other strengths of the roster. I think they should have their eyes open for them and just make sure the people that are on the bottom of their depth chart at those spots are better than guys on other teams. So I think they're going to have to do that comparison analysis over the next few days, get an idea of who they think might be cut, and be ready to jump if one of those guys do hit the open market. So that wraps it up for this week. As always, if you want to be a part of our Twitter community, the link will be below this tweet and another threaded tweet. You can click there, sign up, ask questions in our private New Orleans Football community, chop it up with other Saints fans, and Get your questions featured on the dot. For everything else, keep it locked to New Orleans.football.